All right, so the first scenario we're going over is if we are dominating the face-offs. First, you want your M2 to be five to 10 yards below the midfield line, so behind M1. We also want the, mid, the LSM, sorry, on the, on the far side to be below the ball, but he can really go wherever he wants. I usually like to have a match feet, so if this M1 comes over here, I'll say, yeah, stay with him. Because if I'm dominating, I really don't have to worry about this M2 coming over and beating me this way, right? So right here, let's say we have this guy right here. And whistle sounds, what, what do you want to do as a face-off midfielder right away? You want to go forward and win it this way, right? Go down and generate offense. So keeping M2 behind you pulls this LSM1 towards him. So if he locks him off, this leaves this open for you all day. Now eventually, you win a few forward, you start scoring goals, you start getting assists, they're gonna start bumping this guy down here, right, to cut off the break. So once that happens, all it is is you win the face off and you just directly throw it straight to this M2 right here. And then it should be an uh, uncontested pass. All you gotta do is just throw it between your legs as the face off guy. So it's basically really hard to cover for the other team. And you really want the other team to pick a side. So you never wanna put your midfielders here and here. You never wanna put them on the midline. Because if you put them on the midline, then the defenders can play both sides. They can play defense, they can play defense here, they can play offense here, and they can play you in here, right? So you want them to pick a side. You want them to be either here or down here. So say it's a face off and it wasn't a clean win, but you eventually win, what do the win guys do? So try to just hang out five to 10 yards in from the wing line. You don't wanna get in the face-off guy's way. I say number one rule is to give, give the face-off guy space, right? Let him win the ball to himself. Try not to clog things up too much. A 1v1 GB is much easier than a, than a 3v3 GB or even a 2v2 GB. So just hang out in here in these areas right here or, or to follow this guy and you'll give the face-off guy a nice look to have space. And then also, say you finally win and you're hanging out right here, say it's been about a, a 10 second face off, the face off guy finally gets the ball, this LSM1 is in here, the face off guy knows that this guy is right here at all times. So say you gotta goose it back or you gotta throw it between your legs somehow, say like you're gonna triple team right here, then you know this guy's wide open and you can just throw it, you don't even have to look when you pass it, you can just throw it right here.